Kate, just what are you thinking? There's a limit to how much of your ignorance I can endure. This is outrageous. I'm very sorry, Vivian. What is it this time? Did I do something wrong again? Apologies don't mean a thing if you don't put your heart into it, young lady. I want you to leave this restaurant this instant. You will get up from your seat until everyone you're simply leaving for the restroom. But you will get out of the restaurant and never come back. Is that clear? You are to head straight home. But Vivian, I can't go home now. We're here to celebrate my daughter's birthday. As a family. Besides, I have the responsibility to watch over her as her mother. Why would you say something like that? I'll tell you why. I've noticed that you haven't been touching your food for a while now. You've only eaten a few bites out of your salad, but I can tell when a person doesn't have an appetite. Surely you've had enough for lunch. And if you're not hungry anymore, then there is no point in staying here. In fact, it comes across as very rude to the chefs in the kitchen. It makes it look like you don't enjoy the food they made. Like it tastes bad. You don't want to disrespect them, do you? We'll take care of the rest of the dishes. You may leave. Well, I suppose it is true that I'm losing my appetite. But that's only because you're not letting me eat anything besides the salad. You're the one that ordered this, and you won't let me order anything else for myself. I was meant to ask you, why are you doing that? I mean, nothing is wrong with the salad, but I didn't ask for it. Ungrateful child. I was only trying to be kind to you. I can tell that you don't care much about your health. But vegetables are very nutritious in vitamins, something you very much need. Besides, you wouldn't be able to appreciate any of these fabulous French cuisines anyway. The chefs would be much happier if they were eaten by people who can properly enjoy them. Like me. This is all for the better. I'm sure you'll thank me later. You are trying to be kind? That was your definition of kindness? I would really like to try out the other dishes too. This is a very prestigious three-star French restaurant, young lady. A common girl like you wouldn't be able to appreciate it. In fact, I fear you'll even have trouble digesting it. You'll probably fall ill if you take even a bite out of anything other than the salad. Your body simply isn't made for this. I don't think that's how the human digestive system works, Vivian. Hush! Perhaps eventually you'll get a chance to have your first bite of French delicacies, whenever that may be. Perhaps in a few decades? But until then, you will eat the salad, and that shall be enough for you. And you will be grateful for it. I really don't understand what you're getting at, Vivian. When I first heard that you were going to take us to this restaurant, I was really happy. I was looking forward to it. You do know that I love French food, don't you? I thought that maybe, just maybe, this was the day we were finally going to get along. Listen to yourself. This isn't for you, you selfish woman. We're only here to celebrate our precious granddaughter's birthday. I do not care for your love of French food. In fact, I highly doubt that any of those you've eaten in the past are actual French meals. I imagine they're only one of the cheap, microwavable meals you buy at the supermarket. Such disrespect. Just finish your salad and be gone. Why are you always so mean to me? Today should be a special day. Maybe you could try being nicer to me? Just this once. Mean? I'm not being mean. If you think I'm being unfair to you, it is only because you want to play the victim card. Besides, I am the one that has brought everyone here. You should be thanking me more. This is exactly why I didn't want to take you along. I knew it was going to be a terrible idea. You didn't want me to come? 
to my own daughter's birthday? Of course I didn't. Your existence ruins everything. I only agreed to take you because our lovely Clara begged me to. Such a kind girl. Compare that to her sorry excuse of a mother. What a disgrace. This is why I don't want to invite outsiders to personal family celebrations. I thought I was being generous by taking a stranger like you. That I was giving you a chance. But I'm afraid I was being far too kind for my own good. I should have left you home when I had the chance. You should really learn your place, dear. You simply do not belong here with us. Wait a second. But I'm her mother. I'm also part of the family, too. Even if you don't like me, don't I deserve to celebrate my daughter's birthday? Along with the rest of my family? I cannot believe you. You don't actually think that, do you? I've never considered you to be part of the family. Just because you're my daughter-in-law doesn't make you one of us. In fact, I don't even understand why I have to pay for your meal. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. I can tell that I'm not wanted here. I'll take my leave. Very good. And don't you come back. I won't. I don't think I can stand you anymore. I'll be heading home, just like you want me to. I hope you're happy now. Mom, are you okay? It's been almost 10 minutes since you left for the bathroom. Are you feeling sick? Do you need help? Everything is fine, sweetie. I think I might have a slight cold, but it's nothing too serious. A good night's rest should make me feel all better. I'll be heading home, but don't you worry about me. It's your birthday. Enjoy it. And make sure you enjoy your food, too. It must be delicious. It's not every day that you get to eat at a three-star French restaurant. Mom, it's okay. You don't have to hide it. It's Grandma's fault that you're not feeling good, right? You don't have to lie. I can tell. You... knew? We are sitting at the same table. It's pretty obvious that Grandma is doing everything she can to make you feel miserable. I mean, she forced you to get salad and didn't even let you look at the menu. She won't even let me share any of my dishes. I know Grandma said you like salad, but we came to a really expensive looking restaurant. And you haven't eaten anything but lettuce and olives. If it were me, I wouldn't be feeling too good about it. Wow, this is so embarrassing. I didn't want you to see me like this. It's all right, but I can't believe Dad and Grandpa aren't even trying to stop all of this. Grandma's obviously treating you unfairly, and yet they're acting like everything is perfectly fine. It's just wrong. It's really frustrating to watch, and I couldn't do anything about it. I'm sorry you had to see all this, sweetie. Especially on your special day. Don't apologize to me, Mom. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm just really worried about you. I also don't want to eat with these people anymore. I know I couldn't stand up for you back at the restaurant, but can I go on with you? But you're so excited about going to that place, Clara. Don't worry about me. All I wish is that you get to enjoy the meal. For both of us. Okay, I'll eat as much as I can then. For the both of us. I know. I'll make her literally pay for how she treated you. Watch me, Mom. Her wallet is going down. Yeah. That's the spirit. You're the birthday girl. Don't worry about anything else. Just do whatever you want to. Today is your day to shine. Hey, Mom. What are the escargots? They're priced pretty high, but I want to make sure I pay more for less food. Do you think this would be a good way to hurt Grandma's wallet? Hmm. Maybe. Escargot are snails, but they're all super delicious. I think it really depends on the restaurant. But generally speaking, they tend to lean more on the pay more for less side. Snails? Okay, then maybe I'll try it out. I'm also thinking about ordering some truffles. Those are super expensive mushrooms, right? Yep. Very expensive mushrooms. Great. Wow. 
These bottles of wine are super expensive. Too bad I can't drink them. Clara, make sure you eat some things you like too. Expensive things aren't always the best. There should be all sorts of desserts on the menu, right? It is a three-star restaurant after all. It's pretty much a guarantee that they taste great. I'm sure you'll really like them. Enjoy it for me. You're right. I almost forgot. I'm going to order every single dessert on the menu, Mom. That's for you. Thanks, sweetie. And don't forget to enjoy the dishes for yourself, too. It's your birthday. And you only have one of those per year. I'll go enjoy the rest of my lunch at the usual diner. Okay, Mom. I'll eat a lot. I'll show them how much a growing teenager can eat. See you later. See you later. And good luck, birthday girl. I must tell you, Kate, lunch was splendid. It was wonderful. Our adorable Clara must have felt the same way as well. As soon as you left, she started ordering dishes with a bright smile on her face. It's always more difficult to enjoy your meal when there's a stranger sitting with you. Sure. Thanks for everything you did for her. Look at you in comparison. I'm glad you left. What are you doing now, anyways? You must be feeling hungry by now. Perhaps you're crying out of misery? Or perhaps you're cursing your lack of culture? Actually, I'm enjoying a nice meal at the local diner. The local diner? That is nothing compared to a three-star restaurant. Well, it may not be as overly expensive and famous, but I think the food here is still really good. The order seems like nice people, too. Sure, going to a three-star restaurant is great, but a local diner is always a humble alternative. Of course you would think so. I don't imagine you can tell the difference between a genuine three-star cuisine made by world-famous chefs and some rubbish dish made by a local nobody. They must all taste the same to you. Ugh. I could never go eat at such a horrid place. Even thinking about it gives me the shivers. Good. I'm sure the owners of the diner wouldn't want you to come eat here either. They have more worthy customers to serve. What? How dare you? Another thing. This diner is one of Clara's favorite places to eat. I would appreciate it if you think twice before you talk ill about this place again. Not to mention how disrespectful you're being to the owners. Unbelievable. You're taking Clara to that horrendous place? Yes. We would sometimes go eat lunch here together. Her favorite dish is macaroni and cheese. It's one of the most popular dishes here. I can't have you force poor Clara to eat at such a crude place. She deserves the best out of the best. If she ever mentions wanting to eat anything in the future... You are to contact me. I'll take her to another three-star restaurant. Really? That's actually pretty generous of you. Of course, you won't be joining us. I'm only taking our adorable angel, Clara, with us. I can't have you ruin our meal again. Yes, of course. Whatever you say. Only the most cultured are allowed to enjoy these delicacies. Those who don't understand their worth, like you, don't deserve to be here. Anyways, after we finish paying for the meal, we'll be going shopping. We're going to buy the perfect gift for Clara. And you won't be taking any part in it. I see. Again, thanks for taking care of Clara. Kate, I want you to bring a thousand dollars to the restaurant right this instant. Why would I do that? I don't have the money to pay for the food, and I can't leave the restaurant. That's why I need you to bring the money to me. Do you understand? Now move it. You don't have the money? I wonder how that happened. You didn't forget your wallet at home, did you? Who do you think I am? I didn't forget my wallet. It's just that... 
The bill for the food was much more expensive than we could have ever imagined. It was $1,500. Can you believe it? $1,500 for lunch? Wow. You guys really pushed yourself. What did you order? There must have been a mistake. A thousand should have been more than enough to make all four of us full. They must have accidentally charged us an extra thousand dollars. I keep telling them that, but they won't listen to us. You do know that you were eating at a three-star French restaurant, right? Oh, of course, because a common girl like you would know much more than me. Quit the talking and just bring us the money. Oh, I can't believe it. We only ate a couple of dishes and drank a couple of drinks. This place must be ripping their customers off. I'll be sure to contact the police after this. I want a full investigation. You didn't bother checking the menu for prices? I have had enough of your sassy comments, Kate. Just hurry up and come pay for the meal. At this rate, we'll be the ones who get caught for beating the check. They'll call the law enforcement on us. It'll ruin our reputation. That will be horrifying, huh? Must be tough. Wait a second. I know. You? Me? What about me? Not only were you ungrateful for me taking you to the restaurant, you had to go one step further. You must have ordered some kind of takeout food when you left. And lots of it. That's the only explanation. Um, I think you should calm down, Vivian. You're letting your imagination get the better of you. I know it. I just know it. That's what happened, wasn't it? And I suppose you thought it would be a fun way to get back at your mother-in-law, didn't you? That's why the bill is so high. It was all your fault. And you thought you wouldn't get caught. I can't believe you. You evil witch. You call yourself a mother? A wife? Thanks to you, we have to pay all this money for a meal we didn't even eat. Now bring me that money right now. It's time to pay up. To take responsibility for your cruel actions. Sorry to break it to you, but I don't think that place does take out. And besides, I'm sure if you check your bill, all the numbers would add up. Well... If it's not you, then it must be the employees. They offered us a bottle of some kind of special wine. A special drink for a special occasion, they said. I didn't bother to look at the price, but they must have scammed us. I believe that was the most expensive bottle of wine in the entire restaurant. Yes, that must be it. They offered you a bottle of wine? Hmm. Why don't you check your bill? I don't need your suggestion, Kate. But I suppose I shall. This is outrageous! It's just one bottle! How come one bottle of wine costs more than $900? It didn't even taste like anything special. That should be $10 at most. This restaurant is a scam. Hmm, that's odd. If I remember correctly, I think you mentioned something about how only the most cultured people, those who can understand the worth of food, should be allowed to eat there. I don't see how complaining about the price is understanding its worth, but I guess you can't help it. I mean, come to think of it, all you do is complain. It's what you do best. Just what did you say, young lady? Explain yourself. There's nothing to explain to you, Vivian. And that's not all. You told me all about being disrespectful to the chefs there. But isn't the way you're acting now disrespectful? If not more, to everyone working at the restaurant? You're just making basic accusations as you go. 
You dare insult me? Apologize at once. You know what? I'm not apologizing. And that money you keep talking about, you can forget about it. I'm not part of your family, right? I don't think there's any reason why I should go and help you out. You ate the food and now you have to pay for it. I'm sure you can handle your problems with the rest of the family. What? I won't be having this. Kate? Oh, well you look at that. My dessert just arrived. I don't want my meal to get ruined. So please don't bother contacting me again. I wish you well. Hey, Mom, I'm almost home. How about you? Are you still at the diner? I just made it home. Was your grandmother able to pay for the meals? Nope. She's probably still at the restaurant arguing with the owner. It was getting pretty intense. And good call ignoring Grandma's orders. She was furious. Both Dad and Grandpa didn't bring their wallets, so they had to explain how they couldn't pay at the moment. By the way, things were going. I think Grandpa should be on his way home to get his wallet, but I don't know the details. I didn't bother staying there. You left the restaurant by yourself? Yep, the owners let me go. They were really nice. To be honest, I was a bit worried about you. But I figured you would be alright since you never contacted me. I'm glad everything turned out fine for you. You can always count on me, Mom. Oh, and they also gave me a little box of something. They said they don't usually do takeout, but since this was a special occasion, they were willing to do things a little differently. They said it's on the house. I didn't look inside yet, but it's small, sweet. I think it's dessert. They also told me to tell you that you shouldn't feel bad about standing up for yourself. Just because the people treating you badly are part of your family. They want us to share this together and enjoy celebrating my birthday. For real this time. I see. The employees must have noticed something was going on too. I was wondering about how your grandma mentioned the waiter offering her an expensive bottle of wine. It apparently cost me more than $900. Maybe they were secretly helping us out with our little scheme. Maybe. Or maybe we just really overdid it by ordering expensive dishes. Who knows? I asked one of the waiters if they knew what I was trying to do, but they just gave me a smile and told me to enjoy my birthday. I see. The truth will never be known then. Yep. But if they did do it intentionally, I could totally see why. If I was the one working there, I wouldn't want to serve any lame customers picking on their family like that. Especially on a birthday. We were probably one of the worst customers to serve. It must have been uncomfortable to watch. We need to go and thank the owners later. After everything settles down. Yeah. Hey mom. If you want to get divorced with dad, you can. You don't have to worry about me. I know today isn't the first time you are being mistreated by Grandma. I don't know it all, but I don't want to see you suffering anymore. I want what's best for you. Clara. I want to leave Dad and Grandma and go live with you. Just you and me, together. It would be great. You can take custody, and when I get old enough, I can get a part-time job to help you out. It might get busy, but it'll be much happier life for the both of us. So, why don't you get divorced? Oh, sweetie. I must be an awful parent for making you go through all this. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize, Mom. You're not an awful parent at all. But you know who is? Dad. He's not standing up for you at all. I couldn't believe him. He was so awful to you today. Is he always like that? If he is, I don't think he's good enough for you. Maybe, all right. I think I'm starting to see things more clearly now. Maybe I will get divorced. If you're really okay with that, of course. Of course I'm okay with it. Let's talk things over once I get home. We can enjoy whatever that's inside of this box, too. Besides, I don't think Dad's going to be coming home for a while, so we don't have to worry about him hearing us. All right. But are you sure you don't want to save the dessert for later? You must have pushed yourself back at that restaurant. Aren't you feeling a bit full? Nope. I might be a little full, but I'm not going to let that stop me from celebrating my birthday with the best mom in the world. Aww, that's very sweet of you. I'll be waiting for you back home. Okie dokie. I can't believe you, Kate. You actually didn't bother to help us out yesterday. 
You didn't even bring us a penny. I believe I was pretty clear about my intentions. I said you can forget about it. I don't understand why you thought I'd be coming back after all that. You impertinent little brat. We were almost taken away by the police because of you. Can you imagine the embarrassment we faced? The reputation you damaged? It's a three-star restaurant. And you made us look like some kind of joke. I always wanted to say this, but... You really have some problems with anger management, Vivian. And you always make so many accusations. You didn't talk to the owners back at the restaurant like that, did you? I don't have a problem. You do. Thanks to you, we're not allowed to eat at that restaurant anymore. They banned us. We're customers for crying out loud. And they banned us because you didn't pay up. I don't know. That's probably not the only reason they banned you. All this damage you've caused? And you still don't have it in your heart to apologize to me? You're insufferable. I don't want a daughter-in-law like you anymore. I want you to divorce my son right now. What? That's what you get for making me angry. If you don't want to get divorced, then you will apologize to me from the bottom of your heart. And you will pay for yesterday's meal. The entire $1,500. Do you understand? Nope. Not a thing. You will apologize to me for making me suffer such hardships. And you will pay all that money to me. I only ate one salad and then I left. I could sort of understand it if you just wanted me to pay for the salad. But why do you have to pay for everything else? Isn't that being a bit unreasonable? Oh, you don't want to pay up, do you? Suit yourself. It's either that, or you get a divorce and lose us forever. Hmm. These you guys forever, huh? Now you're getting worried, aren't you? I suppose you regret how you treated me earlier. Well, it's too late. But I'm going to be generous. You can still make up for it. If you don't want to get divorced, and if you don't want to get kicked out of our house, then you will do as I say. Apologize to me, and give me back my money from yesterday's lunch. Who am I kidding? I'll take the divorce. What? No, you're not supposed to get a divorce. I already got the documents ready. I'll just have James sign it, and then we can officially get a divorce. Don't worry about Clara. I'm sure you don't have to worry about her ever again. She said she didn't want to see you or your son anymore. I guess she just doesn't want a crabby old lady as a grandmother, or an ignorant jerk as a father. No... She did not say that. Yes, she did. Anyways, I suppose we have an agreement now. I'll make sure to tell James about everything, and we'll be on our way. But, Katie, darling, you're not actually trying to get divorced for real, are you? Of course I am. But, but, why? The alternative is to pay $1,500 to you. Why wouldn't I? You don't know how much I was willing to bribe you just to get divorced. But this? This is basically the easiest choice ever. Thank you so much. No, no. Hold on, dear. I was just being a little dramatic. I don't actually want you to get divorced, silly. We're family. Is that so? Well, that's too bad, because I was being serious. Goodbye, Vivian. It was nice to know you. No, wait. Kate? Kate, you can't actually be thinking of getting a divorce. Don't ignore me, young lady. Explain yourself. Kate? I'll take you to as many three-star restaurants as you like. 
Respond to me this instant, Kate. James and Vivian initially weren't happy about getting divorced. But once I hired a lawyer to get the job done, they reluctantly decided to accept it. They didn't want to make a big deal out of it, since they feared it would ruin their reputation. We were finally free from them. Apparently, that wasn't long enough, though. They were making such a scene back at the restaurant that day that a few customers were filming them. And one of those videos went viral. Their neighbors recognized them in it, and they quickly became a rumor amongst the neighborhood. Eventually, word got out that why we got divorced and how Vivian was treating me. Their reputation was ruined. They were no longer accepted at most restaurants, local or prestigious. As for Clara and I, living together with just the two of us has been going surprisingly well. It was even better than we had first anticipated. Although we haven't been going to any three-star restaurants lately, 